Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for My Favorite Things. Today I'm creating a masculine galaxy birthday card using different distress sprays and the fun new blast off dynamics. So let's get started. First, I spray two watercolor panels cut to eight and a half by four and a quarter with distress resist spray. The spray needs a little time to dry, which is why I do it first. But once it's dry, it will resist anything that gets sprayed over it, leaving nice white splatters that will be the stars in my galaxy. You could also use white gouache for the stars, but honestly, I've never used the resist spray before and I wanted to give it a try. Next, I set that aside to dry while I worked on the blast off rocket ship. I started by die cutting the rocket from cement gray, steel gray, and white cardstock. I used the two gray cardstocks for the main body of the ship and then used Copic markers to color the white cardstock for the accent line at the bottom of the ship and the flames. Then I used adhesive to adhere the different parts of the ship together. The die cut pieces have little scored lines to help show you where to line up the different pieces, which is really helpful. I also decided to just cut a piece of black licorice cardstock to fit behind the ship for the window. Once my resist spray was dry, it was time to work on the galaxy. I've created galaxies before using ink blending or ink smushing, but wanted to see how it would turn out with the sprays and I was really pleased overall. Again, like the other techniques, these tend to look awful before they look better, so don't get discouraged and just keep adding layers until you're happy with the way it looks. First, I sprayed the panels with Distress Oxide sprays in Peacock Feathers, Mermaid Lagoon, and Black Soot. This was also my first time using any of these sprays, so it was fun to see how they worked compared to using regular Distress Oxide ink pads. Don't forget to give the sprays a really good shake before you get started. I added more spray to one panel just to see what the difference would be. And occasionally, I used a piercing tool just to carefully hold down the paper in the center so it wouldn't buckle too much as it was drying. 
I added a few layers of spray, drying them in between with my heat gun. The oxide sprays are more opaque than regular distress sprays, so you get a really interesting layered effect. Once I was happy with my colors, I let them dry and then rubbed the panels gently to rub the ink off of the resist sprayed areas. As you can see, the ink easily lifted off, revealing the white splatters from the resist spray underneath. Next, I decided to add some sparkles, so I started by spraying the panel with antiqued bronze mica spray. I sprayed it and I also added splatters with a paintbrush. It has a really gorgeous finish when it's dry. And finally, I added sprays of brushed pewter spray stain and then let both panels dry completely. Once they were dry, I trimmed them down to three and three quarters by eight and adhered them to a side folding card base. I stamped a sentiment from Best Friends of the Universe onto black licorice cardstock and heat embossed it with white embossing powder before trimming it down to a thin angled label. I adhered the sentiment and rocket ship with foam mounting tape for a little extra dimension. Finally, I finished the card by adding a few white gel pen accents to the ship. And that's it! I really enjoyed playing with the various sprays and I love how the galaxy turned out. I hope you enjoyed it too! Do you have a favorite way to create a galaxy? If so, I hope you'll share it in the comments below. You can find more information on all the products I used in the YouTube description or over on the MFT Stamps blog. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and happy crafting! Bye!